so a lot of guys aren't really aware of the advantages and the wonderful benefits of having high T levels. So, and it's unfortunate that, you know, you, you hear about this, man, you gotta have high T levels, man, bro. You need to increase your T. Why? What are the benefits of having and boosting your T levels? What will happen to your life in terms of happiness, and masculinity, relationships, connection, well-being if you have high T levels? I want to get to that in this video. And I want to cover five main positive effects of high T levels. Five main advantages, five main benefits of having high T levels in this video. And it's, it's, it's gonna be great. And before I do that, for those of you who are not aware, T, you know, for short, or testosterone, is the man molecule. It's the man hormone. It's what makes us men. And it's what makes us different from women. <laughs> So, if you want to really look at it, you have to look at the specific advantages that pertain to your life. So as I talk in this video, try to understand if you, have or if you already have a life of high T, and if you don't, what would this life feel like? As I tell you what it feels like. So one, let's start with status. Let's start with status. If you look at, if you imagine guys with high T today, right? Jeff Bezos, Dan Bilzerian, the late Hugh Hefner. Anyone that is in an authority fig figure has that energy, that passion for life, that drive, that edge, has high T levels guaranteed. That's what gives them that. And it turns out you know, when you look at the statistics, when you read the stories, when you look at the reality of evolution and what an alpha male is and what a beta male is, 10% of the men in the world have all the power, all the sex, take all the women to bed, and have all the money. 10% have all the money. So high T levels are literally the precursor, the game changer, the prerequisite to getting there. Now, let me go into this in a bit more detail. You know, you look at a guy like Genghis Khan even, right? And for your history buffs, I mean, he bedded thousands of women. His lay count was in the thousands and he had trillions of dollars of net worth. High T levels, man, ultra high. Without TRT and fake stuff and synthetic therapy, naturally he had it. Now. If you consider what Jordan Peterson talks about, or Carl Jung talks about, the male dominance hierarchy, right? You look at the hierarchy of men today. There's the ones at the top who get everything, and the ones at the bottom get nothing. But what Jordan Peterson says all the time is, look for something that is consistent and constant across hierarchies and work on that. So let's say you're really good in pest control and you're at the top of that hierarchy in business in uh, like the chemicals you use how many insects you can kill per hour but you take that skill to something like a club and or a dance party or a networking event or a scientific conference let's say or a farm I don't know you're not at the top of the hierarchy anymore. You're maybe at the bottom or in the middle. Because that skill is only valid in that hierarchy. So as we learn that we need to work on something and strive towards getting something that's very high and consistent, constant, just solid across hierarchies, you know what that is? T levels, testosterone. That is the one constant across hierarchies for men. It's, an it's not just interesting, it's unbelievable. It's, it's this easy. Now, practically speaking, what will high T levels give you? 
One, like I said, status. Guys who have high T levels are not only aware of their status in the world, but they go towards striving to become their best selves. Not become like this guy or that guy. No, become your best. Because your biochemistry, your biology has that with high T. And you don't want to be a person who's not even aware of his status. You know, you go through life, you don't give a rat's ass about legacy and leaving behind who you really are inside. Because if you have low T, society did that to you. The environment did that to you. So use the environment. Use what you have available in society to get that power back, to get that high T back that you had when you were a teenager. Now, guys who have high T levels not only understand status, but they go after it because they understand that having high status will get them what they want. And there's even studies which show that, you know, they look at guys with low T and high T. The high T guys go towards, you know, the, the Lamborghinis and the Porsches and the Louis Vuittons and the Armani. Now, if you're a person like, oh, I don't care about all that stuff. I don't care about status. I'm good the way I am. Great. Fine. If you have that confidence and it's authentic and real, great. You probably already have high T then. But don't fake. Don't lie to yourself. Don't fraud yourself. Let's get into the second one. Bedroom performance. Having that rock solid in the bedroom, that never-ending appetite, that never-ending craving, that never-ending energy in the bedroom is something that guys with high tea have. It's not like you go during the day and you, you give all your energy to your work and your school and then at night you're just a one, one, what do you call it, a one pump chump. No, no, no. You still have that appetite, that craving to go make it happen with your partner in the bedroom. Now, libido, appetite, that bedroom appetite, that, that, that energy is the thing that correlates the most with high T levels. That's the, the X factor. And being able to last long and fulfill yourself in the bedroom is something that you will get from high T levels. And just feeling that morning wood every fucking morning, man. Every goddamn morning you'll feel that morning wood and that, that long lasting, sometimes half an hour long in the morning. It's just a wonderful feeling. And all of this is not just some superficial thing. It, all of this correlates with total wellness, with having good masculine health. Third, muscle gains. With high T levels, your workouts become optimal. When you go to the gym, you don't have to spend three hours a day. With a short span of time, you can get the gains that you want because you already have high T levels. So you're optimal in terms of your body biochemistry. Now, how do T levels even impact muscle gains? This is something that I don't think anyone's ever talked about. So there are certain key things that regulate muscle growth that T levels regulate. For example, bone density, red blood cell count, if you look at growth hormone is even influenced by T levels, GH, growth hormone. And that, of course, helps you build muscle and other things. Even if you look at the protein synthesis that is happening inside of your muscles, that is dependent on T levels. And of course, the muscle cell growth regulators are dependent on T levels. And You'll, you'll tend to have a very low level of estrogen in your body if you have high T levels because it, it goes without saying. Guys who have a high level of estrogen in their body, it binds to T and renders it useless and inactive. So you'll be able to have that 
high level of free tea, total tea, bioavailable tea. Because, dude, you don't want high estrogen in your body, trust me. You know, even if you look at things like prostate cancer, and you may not have to deal with that because you may not be you know, an older man, but if you are, and de definitely will be one day as I will be, and we have to deal with this thing called prostate cancer. And it turns out, if you look at the science, estrogen receptors are the one thing that is correlated the highest with prostate cancer. So yeah, man, you don't want to have that high in your body, so get that high T. The fourth thing I want to talk about is energy, drive, passion, edge. What does that mean? When you go to work and you're lazy and, and you wake up in the morning, you're groggy. You sleep at night, you're exhausted. When you wake up in the morning, you want to be full of life, energetic. Like you want to have that edge over the competition. Be able to destroy and destruct everyone in your way. In a, in a loving way. <laughs> in a positive way. And if you have high T levels, then you have endless energy to do whatever you want all day. You don't need to drink coffee over and over and over. You don't need some external stimulus to motivate you or inspire you. You have it inside of yourself. That's that edge, that masculine edge I always talk about. That's the man's natural edge. And finally, the fifth benefit of high T levels is decision-making confidence. Look, you're faced with making decisions all day. Most decisions you don't make is because you lack the confidence, the, the fact that the decision that you make is, doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, you gotta make it. Take that risk. And high T levels allow you to take those risks. Calculated. Now, how do we know this? If you look at studies of Wall Street traders, right? They look at T levels in the morning, they look at T levels in the evening. These are guys who are trading on Wall Street. They're making a lot of money and they look at, do T levels impact how much money they make? So it turns out that the traders who make the most money, you know, that top 10% have the highest level of T in their body. Baseline, right, in the morning when they measured it. Now, why? Well, it turns out they took the most risk. And not the most stupid, retarded, idiotic risk, but the calculated, smartest risk. So if you are in a life of making decisions for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, for your friends, for your colleagues, your employees, who knows, your children, High T levels allow you to make very smart, calculated decisions based on risk that won't end up killing you or destroying you. You're very smart at taking risk. And this is what we find high T level men, entrepreneurs, you know, high level businessmen, rock stars, musicians who are at the top, motivational speakers scientists, all of them, guys in tech, medical industry, all of them, doctors, lawyers, all of these guys who make very high level decisions but in a smart way have a high level of T. Yeah man, take it seriously, really, really seriously and get that high level if you don't already have it. And if you're interested in boosting your tea naturally, then you must try Afro D. This is a 100% natural herb formulation that I made myself. It consists of four ingredients. I've been taking it every day for more than two years now. And we've had some phenomenal transformations from this man, just from a few months of taking it. The guys in the Afro D Academy, all their transformation testimonials, their reviews, their feedback, their experience with Afro D, all of that is available just go click the links below or just go to afrod.com and check it out yourself. Yeah, man, change the game for yourself. Get that high level of tea. 
this is what you want, man. Go climb that male dominance hierarchy. Really, really work hard and get exactly what you want, all your dreams, bro. I'll see you in the next video.